Heck, I'd be doing laps around it. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, on the takeoff roll. Joe Massessa in the Mohawk. Well, Dr. Joseph Massessa here, he's a 5,500-hour multi-engine ATT-rated pilot. He holds ratings in the Citation 500, the 550, and the 560, along with the Grumman OV-1 Mohawk, which you just saw him take off in. He is also an aerobatic certified pilot with a low-level waiver of 250 feet. In addition, he's also a member of the International Council of Air Shows, and member of Warbirds of America. Now this Mohawk is a twin-engine turboprop armed military observation and attack aircraft designed for battlefield surveillance and light strike capabilities. It was intended to operate from short, unimproved runways in support of U.S. Army maneuver forces. The OB-1 served in Vietnam through Operation Desert Storm. He's going to sneak in from behind us here, everybody. So be ready for it. He's going to demonstrate one of the neat capabilities of the OV-1 Mohawk, and that is how quiet it is. If you're one of the bad guys, you'll never even know this airplane was there. Did you notice how quiet it was? Sneaky, sneaky. Trademark of the OB-1 Mohawk. Joe Massessa going by with the Mohawk. This aircraft has a 305 mile per hour top speed, a 25,000 foot ceiling. It's also 12,000 pounds empty, 15,500 pounds fully loaded. And at takeoff, each engine is developing 1,400 horsepower. So I believe he's going to come around and do another high speed pass. From the right, here's Joe Massessi, a Mohawk. Now there's a very interesting history with this airplane. If you're able to get up close and personal to it, you'll notice that there are names stenciled all over this aircraft. And that is because this airplane is used to pay tribute to the 1,600 MIAs still missing out there from Vietnam. And if you look carefully at it, you'll see American flags by some of the names. Those are the ones that have been recovered. There are crosses that you know when you hit the third pass. And if you look at other names, you'll see the emblem, the silhouette of a Mohawk. And what that is, 
Those are Mohawk pilots who are still missing today. There are 16 of them on that airplane. This airplane is powered by the Lycoming T-53 L701 turboshaft engine. The same engine that powers the Super Huey helicopter. Talk about it, they change it though, baby. And when he's going by, he's got the flop set of only 1,400 RPM, which means they're very quiet. At altitude, you'll never hear this airplane. And by the time you do, you're going to look at that and say, Rut row, you're about to have a bad day. Here he comes by on another dirty pass. Joe Necessa, the LV-1 Mohawk. Too. Had the speed brakes out on that. Cleans the airplane up and away we go. Built by Grumman up there in Beth Page, New York. Of course, during World War II, Grumman had the great distinction of being called the Grumman Iron Works because they built such rugged airplanes as the Wildcat, the Hellcat, and a bunch of others. Culminating here with the Mohawk along with a bunch of other aircraft. Grumman actually built some light aircraft for the general aviation market as well. Not quite as powerful or as dangerous as the Mohawk, but still they're fun to fly. First flight of this airplane was back in April of 1959. Wow. They introduced them, put them in service in October of 1959. Here's that high-speed pass. You can barely hear that thing go by. Not quite the same screen as a full jet aircraft. They were retired in September of 1996. Only 380 of them ever built. So it's kind of a rare airplane. Another one that I can think of that was low numbers, uh, 360 were built, and I'm thinking of the B-36 Peacemaker built by Convair. There are only four of them around. I think there's a few more of the Mohawks. Ladies and gentlemen, get your cameras, camcorders, and cell phones ready. Joe Massessa coming in from the right on the photo pass. couple of moments here, we're going to recover Joe Massessa with that OV-1. I almost said OV-10. Come on, Eddie. Pull it together, man. I think both aircraft are really cool. The OV-1, the OV-10. You put them side by side, it's perfect. It's the numbers I keep buggering up. Jeez. Hey, I'll tell you what, though. I make a promise to you. I'll have it right by the Monday air show. Wait a minute. You mean there's no Monday air show? Oh, man. I hate when that happens. You're drinking plenty of water, right? You got plenty of sunblock on, right? Come on, I want to hear you say yes. You got, you're drinking your water? You're paying attention to yourself? Good. I'm glad to hear that. We want you to enjoy this rather hot day out here at Green Bay. Lake. When you keep drinking plenty of water, you're going to have a good day. A little shade doesn't hurt you either. And I believe that Hackensack UMC has got a cooling tent around here somewhere. I may visit that today. Here's the landing. Watch how short it takes. Flat pitches in reverse. Talk about an extra set of brakes. The Mohawks got them. 
It's a little thing called beta range. You flip the control lever in such a way, I have no idea how they do it. But it reverses the propellers, you goose the throttles. It's like dragging an oar in a canoe.